Our next guest is known as the millionaire maker whose business strategies has helped builders and building contractors achieve profits in the seven figures. Kurt Heggett Schweiler is also the best-selling author of the book Million Dollar Builder, and he's here to share some of his expertise with us. So listen closely if you want to make some money. How you doing? I'm great, Brian. Thanks for having me, man. Really of course. appreciate it. All great right. To be here. Yeah, welcome. So let's get right to it. Let's talk yes. about some tips to grow your team, create success, and a seven-figure net profit. How do we do this? Okay, there's a lot to it. Look, I just want to preface that um, I'm not going to hear to say that it's easy to add a million dollars to your business, but it's never been easier. Okay, there's great sharing of quality business information in this day and age, as well as great systems and technology. But it starts with, number one, leadership. It's all about... Um, the leader of the business and as Jim Rowan famously said you need to work harder on yourself than you do on your business get out of your comfort zone build your character build some resilience I'll draw a lot of inspiration from the special forces your Navy SEALs those guys are trained to run towards gunfire so it's face into your fears become the type of leader that people are going to want to follow into battle so mm -hmm. that's step number one secondly you got to think big so whatever goals you've got set for this year 10x them if you want a hundred thousand dollars in the bank go for a million if you want a million go for ten that'll make your goals seem small and okay. a lot easier to achieve and then you've got to you've got to know your margins you've got to chase the margin then the revenue a lot of business owners are chasing that next sale trying to chase the cash flow what they really need to do is just stop slow it down identify the most profitable products and services and then embrace marketing marketing is really the holy grail of business and then just go for the, the volume so margin before the before the volume and then building a team you already got an employee on attitude over skill mm -hmm. a lot of business owners employ on skill only to find out the employee's got a bad attitude and then they're out the door you just so packed a lot into they're, they're, that they're, yeah which is good that's what we want here at desert living right yeah. and uh, so I'm, I'm hearing think big and be fearless Absolutely, spot right. on. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm so listening. It's, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. But yeah. I tell you what, it's an exciting journey, and yeah, this is the best time ever to be in business. So mm -hmm. if you want to build a business that's got good structure, good processes, good efficiency, and then more importantly, good profitability, and join that seven-figure club, you know, now's the time. Now I see what you do, what you do, because you have a way of uh, putting it into layman's. And I like how you said that. It's true. And today, uh, the business yeah. has never been better than it is today. All right, so how do you figure out the break-even point for your business? Okay, your break-even point. When it, in terms of making a profit, and, and when I say profit, I mean a net profit. All right, you need to know what sort of, what volume of sales you need to bring in and what margin to cover your, your expenses, your mm -hmm. running costs, your fixed expenses. So the equation is fixed expenses divided by gross margin percentage. So I can see your eyes glazing over there. Right? It's because <laughs> I've had a long day. Here's the good news. Here's the good news, <laughs> Brian. You don't need to understand the mathematics mm -hmm. of, of how to calculate your break-even point. The most powerful question a business owner can ask is who, not how. Okay. So instead of asking how do I calculate break-even and gross margin, how do I do my Facebook marketing, who? Who's the specialist service provider in my industry that has a great track record that could help me? And look, most business owners are good technicians. The plumber's a good plumber, the builder knows how to build, but they're not so good at the business side of things. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole new apprenticeship, and you can either try and figure that out for yourself, or you can follow a proven roadmap, and that's what we offer. I love it. And again, I'm glad you were, you were a fast talker, because we only have so much time to work with. For more information about Builders Coach, or to order Kurt's book, Million Dollar Builders, simply log on to the website, builderscoach.com. Uh, follow this guy has given you nuggets of brilliance. Here you have it, folks. We'll be right back in just a moment with more Desert Living for you. Stick with us.